Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Painting in Photoshop. Um, for today's episode, I saw this really cool picture of like a spooky castle. And I was thinking maybe we can try to replicate or recreate the spooky little castle. And what I remember from the picture that I saw was that um, it was like the horizon line was kind of diagonal and also the castle was kind of diagonal. So we're going to try to kind of like replicate that. Starting off with a bit of a sky here with all kinds of funky spooky colors. So I'm taking this kind of like, I had this pink color and I'm adding in a little bit of mystical bluish. We might go and grab some deeper purple. Oh, that's a bit much. Isn't it? Maybe just a tiny bit more on the blue side of things. We want this to be kind of maybe like a nighttime kind of picture where it's nighttime and it's spooky. This is a little bit too bright. Let me change it up a little bit. I don't want it to be that vivid. And uh, I got the timer set for about um, 20 minutes. So we'll try to keep it under half an hour for this episode. I'm totally winging it. Like I had a little bit of inspiration from that image that I saw. But other than that, I'm totally winging it. Uh, and um, yeah, we're going to find out what it's going to turn into. Hopefully, hopefully something spooky. something along what we were thinking of of making so i'm just gonna try to drop in a little bit of a sky here but i'm trying to be subtle with it i want it to be nighttime i want it to be like this little haze in the foreground where there might be you know a little bit of mist roaming around some spooky mist Ooh, something like that that looks all right to me but we definitely want this to be a lot darker a lot more spooky that way so let's darken it up a little bit this especially these top parts i do like a little bit of this purpley hue coming back maybe maybe like so uh, actually nah let me get rid of it and going even darker still for the very very top something like that well, like we did in our last episode we're going to use a little trick yeah, I kind of like how dark this gets. Ooh, yeah, that's spooky as. Maybe a little bit of this color down here. Maybe a little bit of this pinkish hue rising up. Ooh, that's a bit of a big streak. Maybe a little bit of this pinkish hue rising up. Kind of like that. And we might actually go a little bit brighter on this side too. As if maybe there's some light going to be emitting from our castle and it lights up some of these bottom parts maybe yeah something like that cool let's duplicate this layer like we did in our last episode just to up the vividness a little bit and making sure that there's nothing of our default grayness shining through like that cool so we got a little bit of a backdrop. We're probably going to revisit that a bunch of times, but I'm just going to layer in. I'm just going to grab this dark color, I think. Yeah, that'll do for now. And where I want our castle to be, I'm just going to put in a huge big blob, kind of like that. And from what I remember, this castle is kind of like sitting um, slightly diagonally. You know what I mean? So... I want it to be like crooked and wicked, so we're going to paint it a little bit diagonally. Now, I'm not paying too much attention to the shape just yet. All I'm trying to do is kind of like put it somewhere with the, like along the lines of the grid so that the towers and the main feature of the castle is going to be where this like cluster of lines is. And other than that, I'm not paying too much attention. It could be maybe like... Maybe there's like a graveyard in front of it or something like that. Maybe there's going to be like a couple of rocks or trees in the background here. Maybe this kind of like rolls over to the side like that. I'm just going to make a new layer behind our castle layer. Grab a little bit of a lighter tone. And I'm just going to drop in a little bit of a backdrop for that. And then I'm just going to do the same trick again. Make a new layer. But this time with this color that we just grabbed. Just going to turn it slightly more blue and slightly lighter as well. and then add in another one and then maybe something like that creates a little bit of depth to it all and then we're going to do it one more time a layer behind that one make it a little bit more blue and slightly lighter i don't want to crank the hues too much mm, something like that all right we might revisit that a little bit later 
but for now it kind of gets the idea across of that there's something going on over here just gonna turn off this grid for just a little bit so this is gonna be our castle with maybe there's like a main gate over here there's gonna be a bunch of towers like that and then obviously there's gonna be like a big tower over here it's gonna be the central piece maybe there's like a little cathedralish roundish window in there somewhere something like that it might be a little bit too crooked actually maybe we should be just a little bit yeah maybe more of something like so that works and then uh we're gonna try to apply something that's called the light dark light dark principle so i'm just gonna drop in kind of like a light ish bluish hue over here um thinking about crooked horizon lines because we want things to be spooky and maybe there's a bit more dark over here just to draw the attention back to the castle a little bit and then for our layer on top of that we're going to grab our castle color but turn it super dark and that can be like a full on very dark thing over here maybe there's like a big old tree like that that's kind of ooh that's kind of spooky already boom something like that maybe he has a little friend boom and then there's could be like some plants and bushes or like that tree stump something like that maybe there's another one over here yeah i kind of like that so that pretty much will be our most darkest color let's just put a layer in between and go somewhere about halfway grabbing our castle color real quick just going to turn it slightly darker and also slightly more vivid and that can be our in between color over here something like that all right i'm not sure how we're doing for time but i think we're making decent pace um just the thing I like to do before we start off with actually like later in some details I'm just gonna grab a very soft brush and what I like to do is grab this um, where's our background color that haze that we had before this kind of like pinkish hue I just want to drop in a little bit of that haze just to give a bit of a reference of where Kind of like a like a, there's a fog kind of like rolling through it gives a gives a little bit of depth and a little bit of atmosphere and just helps me um kind of as an indication of what we're trying to focus on and what can be left hazy and distant in the background something like that cool all righty so let's dive into our castle now i put in a very big blob here and i might just blob it up a little bit more and then what I like to do is instead of painting the castle, or this is what I do with rocks and, and buildings in general, is instead of like painting them, I like to grab an eraser, a very sharp one. Where's my, where's my sharp little brush? Something like this will do. And instead of, um, instead of painting it, I like to carve it. So maybe there's like a big tower over here and I'm just using the eraser to like carve out this towery peak Boom, something like that and the reason i do it like this way is because i feel like i'm getting way sharper edges this way and that way i have more control over um over the actual shape of what is turning into our spooky little castle um uh, maybe this should go to whoa oh snap computer struggling that's fine it, it lived something like that and there can be all these little things happening in this castle there's a tower over there maybe and definitely going to be one here on the ground side something like that and then this can kind of like taper off maybe there's like a cliff edge on that side maybe this thing was built on like a cliff or something Ooh, that's a pointy one i like that boom there we go something like that and now back to our actual brush i'm just going to select our um our castle pixels grab a lightish color i'm just going to highlight a little bit of this and i'm using a very square brush which is ideal for painting like brick textures and stuff so i'm just going to layer some of them in just to define and um kind of like reshape some of this stuff I'm grabbing a shadowy color for the other half on the other side 
and wherever I feel like it should be darkest, that's where we're gonna drop in a little bit of dark. And already this thing is getting a little bit more shape to it. Could go a little bit darker than that, actually. So let's go buy it. Something like that. That works. Maybe there's like a little alcove right there. Um, a little bit down here. And the bottom bits can definitely be a little bit darker than the top bits because light would still be shining a little bit from the top, which means that the tops of these towers are catching a little bit more light than the bottoms are. There we go. That kind of looks all right. Maybe I want there to be like a little thing over here. It's going to be a little bit lighter maybe. And I also kind of want there to be, but we're going to make them bright, I think. Let's grab a bright purplish pink, something like that. I want that to be a little bit of a window, like, something like that. Mm, maybe that's a little bit too bright and too purple, or too pink, actually. Let's make a little bit more of a blue kind of shade. Yeah, that's better. So I'm just going to drop in a couple of these like tiny little windows, spooky little windows. Definitely doesn't need a lot of windows. Maybe there's like a circular window over here. Ooh, the all-seeing eye. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'm going to add in a little bit of depth to that. Let's put in a couple of bricks on the side. Maybe this kind of like comes out forward. Oh, yeah. And then maybe there can be like another tower over here somewhere. Oh, something like that. Just gonna carve it up just using the darker color that we used before. And maybe there's like a very spooky castle gate. Very tall, very high, very unwelcoming. And maybe there could be like a bit of a staircase or like a path coming up. Swapping to another layer, I suppose. A little bit to the foreground, just gonna grab that dark color, pull it all the way forward something like that and that could be like a path leading up to this spooky castle like part staircase part path and maybe I want like the doors to be slightly open so there's like a little bit of light shining through kind of like that this probably would have been easier to do using the rulers having the castle upright at first and then tilting it later but Learn something every time, right? Boom! Something like that. Maybe there's another little window there. It could be a window over there. Maybe over there. Maybe over there. Ooh, maybe over there. Maybe over there. Maybe over there. Maybe over there. I like how there's. So I like having more windows at the bottom than up top. And then maybe there's like a. Yeah, this could be built on a hill. Maybe this is kind of like coming off down that way. How does that look? Ah, that looks pretty spooky. Cool. Uh, just going to give a little bit more detail to some of these windows and stuff. Maybe there's like a little wall going that way. Over on the gate. Maybe there's like a little bit of a pattern over there. Like stained glass kind of thing. Yeah, that kind of works. And there should be maybe a little bit more shade over on this side of things. Maybe there's like a couple of slanted roofs in there too. Kind of like that. Oh, I don't want it to be like too settlement-ish. We want it to be a castle for sure. But I do kind of like where that's going. And then last but not least, oh, it probably needs a couple of those funky things you find on top of towers like that. Some... um wouldn't say like churchy symbols I'm not trying to be you know satanic or anything but definitely some some like some of the spires spires is the good word i think and uh, grab a little bit of blue i'm just gonna highlight a little bit of these edges over on the left uh, maybe over on the top here too that looks all right something like that cool 
Cool. That works out. Go like that. Boom. Right. Oh. Um. So what do we have here in the foreground? I'm just gonna merge the castle layer and the other layer. I think. Yeah. We can merge these. Maybe there's like a um, a um, cemetery here in the garden, or like the front yard. Spooky little front yard tombstones. Maybe we'll add in some of these. Boom. Something like that. Just a couple of indications. Just doesn't, doesn't need to be that detailed. They can be rough and they can be like worn and and messed up. Maybe something like that. And then usually what goes with like um, a um, cemetery is maybe there's like a fence around it somehow. So make a new layer. I'm just gonna make this brush like real thin, and then I'm just gonna pull in a couple of this like fence work making the strokes bigger as we get closer to the foreground maybe dark darken this up a little bit we might yeah we might have make this a little bit darker so the way we do that is just go to brightness contrast and we just pull the brightness all the way down something like that Boom. and then we might duplicate the layer just to um, get rid of any transparency that might be in there somewhere and we want to push this back so that it's behind behind our little tombstone-y things. And we might just, yeah, something like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. So we'll grab that dark color. And I'm just going to drop in some fence work here. And these lines can be super crooked because we're trying to be spooky. So they can be crooked as some fence work here old worn zombie like fence work going all the way up here something like that cool and then let's see going back to our where's our background layer is that this one yeah I suppose this so all of these tombstones are gonna need a little bit of shadow and a little bit of highlight. So I'm just gonna grab a, wait a second. What layer am I in? All right, there we go. Just gonna go into our tombstone layer and just gonna grab a little bit of dark and just adding in a little bit of shadow and a little bit of highlight in between all of these tombstones. And we might need a little bit more of this purpley hue, something like that. I'm just doing these like um, very horizontal strokes. Very rough. All of it's very rough. Doesn't need that much detail because we kind of want the eye to focus on the castle in the background anyway. So we're not too phased of what's happening here. This should all be in the shade and we we might even still like um, haze it up a little bit later. Just gonna make this a tiny bit lighter and maybe a little bit more of a purpley shade for some more highlights over here. Yeah, I like that. That's better. Something like that. Um, coming into the foreground over here, um, I still want this path to be a thing. So maybe the path can go a little bit crooked like that. And maybe this tombstone could be a little bit darker, actually. Um, something like that. And now I'm going to grab our highlight color and just layer on some of these highlights. Maybe this path is all crooked going around like that. And then off to the side over here. Maybe it'll come right through. Yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe it'll come right through here. That kind of works. I like the composition of this thing. I'm going into another highlight color, going more purple, a little brighter as we get to the foreground. I'm just going to line this up a little bit and then go into some darks just to give a bit of the side of this path a little bit more shade. Um, something like that. All the way over to the back. 
all these little things happening in between. Hey, I just heard my alarm go off. That means, oh, I will go for another couple minutes, but we're probably going to wrap it up soon. I'm just going to go over to these front, front row trees here. Very dark color. I'm just going to layer it. Oh, that's not the right brush at all. Um, maybe this one? Yeah, that kind of works. Uh, I'm just going to layer in a couple of these branches. I want them to be spooky. Oh, that's a little bit close. Maybe something like that. And all of these things growing on this tree. And the more gnarled it is, the more spooky it's going to look like. And that's what we're kind of going for. And you can totally see how the whole image is kind of like changing just by how spiky and unfriendly these trees are going to be looking. Um, ooh, I like that. Man, I should have done this for like Halloween special, but Halloween's ages away. Yeah, some little branches over here. And then some of these get a little bit of smaller branches sticking out from them. Kind of like that. I kind of like how, incidentally, this foreground uh, pinkish hue kind of makes it look like snow. I love snow. And it wasn't my intention to put snow down, but it kind of turned out that way. Like Bob Ross would say, happy little accident, say. Couple more branches over on the side here, and you can totally see like the more of these branches, the spikier they are, the gnarlier this whole picture gets, and it really brings the spooky vibe across. And there's almost no too much in this, like you can draw as many of these as you want, and the more you add in, the spookier it gets, the gnarlier it gets. Some here at the bottom. Maybe we'll grab a little bit of this highlight color and draw in a couple of these little twigs that might stand out. It might be a little bit bright that way. Yeah, this color is better. Just cover it up. So. A couple of these. And then the one last thing I want to do, I'm going to give it a quick go. First, I'm going to merge all of these layers. Boom. And then I'm going to grab a very soft brush. And I'm just going to try to give a little bit of a, like a, like a surreal lighting to this thing where we might grab kind of like a purple like that. I'm just going to pull some diagonal strokes from the sky over onto the castle like that. That might be a little bit far. Let me delete that last one. Ooh. Cool. I'm just going to change the layer mode, see what that does. Mm. Almost makes it more like happy kind of vibe. I'm not sure if I want that. Uh. I mean, it's okay. Something like that, maybe. Maybe we'll do the same with like a darker kind of hue. Maybe something like that. Just gonna darken up the rest of this. Just gonna move it below the highlight. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this. I mean, it makes it a little bit darker, but actually, forget about it. I don't like it. I don't like this one either. Let's just keep it the way it was. I kind of like it the way it was. Maybe we can do some with the auto tone. Oh no, that's a big no no. Auto contrast, maybe. Nope. Auto color. Oh nope. None of those results are good. Maybe we'll do it manually a little bit. Up the contrast a little bit. Nah, it's fine the way it is. This is it. Our spooky little castle done in 30 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to try to do a couple of these a week. Uh, so if you want a specific scene to be painted and want me to give it a go, let me know in the comments what kind of scene you'd like. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have an awesome day, everybody.